dashboard is designed to make it easy for you to take a quick look, glance at a company and the company overview is a description of what the company does um, it's quite basic and over here on the right side we have a spider graph and with the spider graph you have to enter the values in manually yourself it's not something that can be automated because there's a lot of reading that goes into um, figuring out what these numbers are that you can do something like low risk by just look at the fundamentals but then how do you know whether it's well managed or whether it has a strong moat right so um, it does require some manual calculations and when you've done that you press F9 or in the bottom left corner I just click the calculate button to refresh that um, screen and then you see the updated graph show up and now let's move on to the other section so let's go to the valuation section first um, so over here it shows you what the price of all the valuations are um, you've got a list of all these different models and the intrinsic values that has been calculated um, there's the net production uh, cost from EPV this is the earnings power value from the EPV section um, uh, the discounted cash flow uh, the intrinsic value that you can um, adjust yourself there's also the new absolute P fair value as well as the Ben Graham formula and what that does is on the right side each one um, is represented by this graph so depending on whether it's undervalued or overvalued you'll see it key statistics uh, it's very basic um, just market cap and things like that over here and then on the right side there's the company stats uh, it gives you a good idea of where the company stands and moving on to the effectiveness we have uh, Croic, things like return on assets, return on equity to see how well the company has been doing, uh, margins, how strong the company is, the trend of the margins. Uh, it tells you a lot about the company. And here we can see how well the company has been turn turning over its assets and the balance sheet strength. Over here on the fundamental side, um, you can see these ratios and you get a good idea of how the company has been performing. You don't get the all 10 years, but with just the last two years and the trailing 12 months, you can get a pretty good idea of the expected trend and how it's going to perform. Lastly, on the selected financial statements, it gives you a good idea. Um, I've covered all the basics and the important aspects so that you can know whether you need to continue digging into this company. And the final graph that I forgot to mention earlier is this intrinsic value graph where the red represents the intrinsic value over each year and the green is the buy price. So you get a good idea of how intrinsic value has been acting. So there you have it, a very simple to read and understand dashboard. Thanks for watching that video. Now click on that red subscribe button so that you get more tutorials and value investing stock analysis. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe to the blog. I'll also throw in some free set of investing spreadsheets so that you can use it to value and analyze stocks. And finally, you can go to the YouTube channel now and view the other video tutorials that I have up. I hope you find it useful and hope to see you around.